first gather all the supplies you'll need prior to installation. Recommended supplies for the full spread professional installation method include 3 8 inch short nap paint roller, IVC Flex Tech pressure sensitive adhesive, IVC Flex Seam premium seam bond, duck acrylic double face tape, sharp utility knife, straight edge, push broom, undercut saw, and a hand roller. Remove all furniture, appliances, and movable fixtures from the area to be covered. For a more finished look, carefully remove baseboards and quarter round, numbering them so they can be replaced correctly. Undercut all door jams to maintain a 1 8 inch gap using a piece of scrap material under the saw when cutting. This will allow the material to slide under the trim freely and will not pinch the material. Metal jams must have a 1 8 inch expansion gap as well and should be caulked with a 100% silicone caulk before completing the job. Material should always be rolled onto a core for transporting and storage. Cuts six feet or less in length may be rolled the short way. Never apply extensive pressure to the rolled material with tape or twine. Always keep the material dry. For storage, the area should be dry and the material should be protected from the weather and out of direct sunlight. Thoroughly inspect the flooring prior to cutting any material. Immediately contact the retailer in the rare event that defects are detected. The installer is responsible for labor costs to repair or replace material with defects that were apparent before or noticed at the end of installation. Proper preparation and installation play a key role in the performance and finished appearance of the resilient floor covering. Thoroughly inspect and prepare substrate and underlayment. Substrates must be clean, dry, flat, smooth, and free of dust and debris. This product requires less floor prep since the material is so forgiving. However, you must always remember that trapped moisture or a loose substrate could lead to future problems. Remove all foreign substances such as wax, grease, dirt, and any substance or chemical that would interfere with a good bond. Residual adhesive must be completely removed because the residual tack may restrict the floor. Where necessary, patch or fill all holes and cracks with quality Portland cement based patching compound. High spots should be sanded smooth to eliminate the possibility of telegraphing. The strength of the finished surface depends strongly on the integrity of the subfloor. Temperature and humidity extremes should be avoided if at all possible. Maintain room temperature above 65 degrees Fahrenheit for 48 hours before and during installation and 48 hours after completion. For radiant heated floors, the surface temperature of the subfloor should not exceed 85 degrees Fahrenheit. 